Hello Toots, welcome back. So in this lecture we will understand the basics of database design. So the basic is something like how we go about go about designing a database. Okay. So basically we have two approaches. Uh, one is bottom up, which is also called design by synthesis, and another another one is top down, which is called design by analysis. So let's understand the two approaches. <coughs> the first one is uh, bottom up. So b bottom up, okay. And the next one is top top down. Top down. Okay. This is also called design by synthesis. And this is also called design by analysis. We will understand how uh, why we give such kind of names. So this is design by analysis, and this is bottom up is design by synthesis. Well, so what happens in bottom up? Generally, what we do, we collect all the informations. Okay. For example, if you have to design a database. Uh, of the popular system which we always discuss is our university so for a university if we have to design a database what we will do we will collect all the informations about the university and then we will start with we will start with constructing each entity first so all the entities we will design first okay and then from these entities we will go about forming a relationship so maybe relationship here something like this and then we we will go up okay move up so again this relationship if we need something we will form another relationship and, and so on okay so we start with collecting entire entire data about uh, our requirement and then we move further up from the very basic of designing the entity itself so here the problem is before you start designing database you need to have everything all the requirements all the knowledge about the system okay but this is not the case in this top down system what we do in top down system we start with something like if you have a universe you take it a uh, first of all universe universe like university so universe of discourse is university here university okay and then for this university you know that there are departments and there are courses offered okay so you cannot keep everything in one entity so now you go about breaking it up so now you you design two entities first is department okay and then another one is uh, courses so department are offering courses so you can say like department offers courses so something like that again if you know that this is not satisfying our criteria fulfill so we need to have further breakups like this department will be will have breakups among uh, the multiple like department and then uh, HODs and then uh, the faculties so all these rather than keeping in single department you form individual entities for faculty one entity so one entity entity will be faculty another one will be hod another one will be department itself and something like that so we go on decomposing the entity into smaller entities okay until our criteria is fulfilled okay so this is basically called bottom uh, top down approach from this top level entity we are going down and breaking it up until our criteria is satisfied so this is called design by analysis we are basically analyzing our requirement every time and we are we uh, see that whether it is satisfied or not okay at some point while in this case what were it was synthesized like we synthesize all the requirement first before we start designing and we start designing a small attribute small entity first okay so smaller entities then higher level and similarly we move up okay so this is basically two type of design uh, design approach so generally this is not followed in real world so as this is so complex and at sing at a single time we don't have 
uh, the complete list of requirement and the most important in software world requirement gets changes I mean always they have nature of changing so you have to have flexibility so that you can accommodate this ch these changes that's why these are popular method so we always go for top-down database design method in real world so I hope you understand it thanks for watching